What up guys, it's Tops, and I'm back for some more Mario Kart 8. In this episode, we'll be taking on the Special Cup, which is the last of the new tracks. Alright, so, I haven't really thought about what character I'm going to use. Definitely going to need a heavyweight. Um, I think I'll go with Morton. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool. His stats are a lot similar to Roy's. Oh, this is the car piece that I unlocked in the last part, I think. Let's see what it is. <gasps> Cushion tires. What are these stats? If they're good, I'm going to use them. I uh, got really good speed. Not so much on the acceleration. Let me compare them to the rollers. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the rollers still, though, because the cushions only have a little bit more speed, but they have a lot less acceleration. And the other stuff doesn't really matter that much to me, like the traction and all that stuff. But, yeah, let's take on the Special Cup right now. Um, 150cc, alright. So, here we're going to start with Cloud Top Cruise, which is a pretty good course, I think. Um... Not my favorite one, but it's still pretty cool. Pretty much all the courses in this game are <laughs> pretty decent. There's none that I could really say are bad. Even like the really old ones from the SNES and Game Boy Advance, those are actually some of my favorite ones. I really love Donut Plains 3, how they brought that back in this game. Uh, I don't love playing it the most in uh, the SNES version, but... This version, I think that track is amazing. No one really likes the SNES version or GBA version of Mario Kart. I don't really understand why, like, not even the people who were, like, kids from then enjoy it, but I guess just because it was a really annoying sort of game to play, I have played it many times before, and I didn't think it was so bad, but it was a little bit annoying. It was really hard, actually, to, just to, like, drive. Like, you turning and stuff was weird, and it... I don't know. 2D racing games just aren't the best. 3D is definitely uh, a lot better. And, oh, I didn't make that. So, in attempting to make a shortcut, I actually just made that a few seconds longer. And now I'm going to get blue shelled. Oh, I wondered if you could, like, throw the shell in front of you, like a green shell in front of you, and then take out the blue shell that way, but I guess not. Oh, I wonder, since you throw a banana upward, could you possibly throw a banana at a blue shell when it's right about to hit you, and would it hit the blue shell and destroy it? Probably not, but that would be really awesome if there was another way to dodge the blue shell where you could do that. Because I'm pretty sure everyone would try and do that, but it would be really hard. Alright, so let's go into this place. And, oh, blooper. Stop. I need to see which platforms spark a little bit so I know which ones are gonna light up with electricity and kill me if I go anywhere near them so I know I shouldn't go for this shortcut but I'm going to try one more time and I think I'm gonna make it this time and I did but I fell off the side up there I am really stupid sometimes and I was thinking I had a spare banana because like I have one behind me and I also had one in the top left because Mario Kart Wii that would have been the case that would have meant if you saw that there are one behind you and one at the top, it would have meant that you had two items on you, but nope, this game, you only have one. Which, I've already gone over this many times before. Uh, I think it's a good change for online, but not really for the Grand Prix, because it can get a little challenging to stay in first in Grand Prix, but online, people just stay in first the whole time, and it's not even fair or fun, because the people in last place then suffer, because the items are like all overpowered and stuff, and really chaotic. So, I actually think that the items, every single Mario Kart is overpowered items. There's not a single one that doesn't. And I just screwed myself by doing that shortcut. But whatever. I don't need to get first in every single race here. I just need to get first in at least half of them. So, let's go to next race, and here I'll probably be able to get a first. Uh, this is Bone Dry Dunes. Right? Dry... No, I think it's Bone Dry Dunes, not Dry Bone Dunes. Uh, so here, this course, I know this course, it's pretty fun. Uh, 
It's pretty neat how there's the Dry Bowser Cave, which suggests that Dry Bowser could possibly be a DLC character. He's not going to be an unlockable because I already unlocked all the characters, and, well, he's not in the roster. <laughs> Alright, so let's wait for that clock, and go. I really hope they come out with DLC for Mario Kart 8 soon. I think actually at E3 this year they might announce, Nintendo might announce that they have some DLC coming. Uh, possibly courses as, uh, who am I thinking of? We Folder Josh, or the Bitblock, uh, mentioned. He said, like, because there's an even space between, if you were to add in four more cups on the sides of the eight already there, there would be an equal amount of space between all of them and the sides of the screen. Which is a pretty neat suggestion that actually suggests that he might be right and there might actually be uh, four more uh, cups coming. So I'm guessing that would mean eight new tracks and eight retro ones? That would actually be pretty cool, but what I'm really hoping to see is battle courses and characters. Because, you know, we already have the normal amount of race courses. It would be kind of cool if we had some more, but... I really want new characters and battle courses because the battle mode that we have, it's just the race courses, but like changed a tiny bit. They're not really even that changed at all. Uh, just like some shortcuts are taken out pretty much that wouldn't be used in a battle. But other than that, like nothing is really different. It's just a race course, and the race courses in this game are really long. So you're just riding around for a long time looking for people to hit with items. And that's just not even fun at all. Having a battle course that's like in a ring shape where, you know, like you could easily, you could look around and you could see people in all directions. That's just so much more fun, in my opinion, than battling on a racetrack. But, you know, like, that's not in this game. So I really hope that the DLC has that in there and some new characters to go along with it. Uh, possibly Bowser Jr., Birdo, Diddy Kong, uh, King Boo, maybe even Dry Bones. I would kind of like to see Dry Bones be in this game. Um, if, I'm guessing that Nintendo would just add another row of six characters, or five if they want to take that route. So either another row, because there's the rows go in like two ways. So it's like one row of five and then one row. Of, and I just screwed myself at the end by trying to do that trick. What the freaking heck? I am doing terrible. I literally doubt that I could possibly get first now. Why did I do that? Alright, we're in third. So if we could pull a first place in these next two races, we might be able to get first. I don't even know what the heck that was before. All of a sudden I was drifting and I just got caught in like, because... A little tiny speck of my tire touched the sand, so I stopped down completely and like 10 people spammed me with items, which I hate that about this game. Oops, I accidentally skipped the cutscene there. But I hate that about this game, how there's uh, so much spamming of items in every single Mario Kart game. Once you get up to 150cc, it's every single computer player just spams you with items. And they're all the overpowered items. Like, somehow everyone has the overpowered items, even the people who are like in second place have those items, and they're spamming you with them. And I'm good at Mario Kart, like, I could survive, but when people spam you with overpowered items, it's just pretty impossible. I wonder if you could actually hit Bowser's hand there for a boost. Like, not, like, have it stomp you, but, like, if you, like, hit it, oh my god. If you hit into it, like, after it hits down, I, I wonder if you get a boost or not. I don't think you do, but it would actually be kind of cool if you did. Alright, so we're actually almost done with lap one of Bowser's Castle. So that actually went by pretty fast. I just slowed down there for a little bit. I don't really understand that. But whatever, we're on lap two. I'm in first place by a while, it looks like. I don't see anybody behind me. Uh, that might just be uh, B because that was like a short turn there. like, And maybe there's someone right at the corner of that turn who is like really close to me now. But I don't know. A good place to look would be, like, at the end of this Bowser statue thing. Uh, because then there's a long, straight path. Uh, Alright, I don't see anybody, but there probably is someone near me. Or also, right here would actually be a perfect time to look. I'm not 
seeing anyone anywhere near me right now. So that's pretty good, and I just screwed myself by doing that, and I dropped the shell too. So somehow someone just appeared there, even though no one was anywhere near me. Now someone's ahead of me. A little bit weird in this game. Things like that happen. I should probably also start collecting more coins, because those do make your card go faster. So, I'll get those. And looks like Blue Shell's going towards this guy, so I just... What the heck? I drifted. And this guard is inside drift, and it made me drift outward. That was weird. And I know, like, technically inside drift isn't back, but... You know, it's this game's version of Inside Drift, which is pretty much the same thing as Inside Drift, actually, in Mario Kart Wii. Not really that different. Just like a slight, slight bit. But, alright, we're gonna come here and try and do this. Alright, so someone got my red shell, so I'm hoping I'll get a green. Okay, good. So I'll keep this behind me so I can defend myself against items, and if anybody gets in front of me... I could just do a last minute hit and just snipe them with this green shell. Alright, so we managed to get first here. I wonder if the same thing will happen with Rainbow Road. I'll be really lucky if it does because I really need that right now. Uh, let me see. I don't even know if I could get first. If Lakitu gets second, there's no way I'm getting first. So, if I see Lakitu, I'm going to spam with items and hope he gets in third. Because if Lakitu does get in third, then I will get first. But if he gets in second, I won't. He'll beat me by one point. So, let's hope he gets into third place here, or else I'll get second, and that'll suck. I don't really want to re-record videos, because I feel like if I record it a second time, that my commentary is just going to be, like, really bad. Like, last video wasn't even as good as it has been in the past before, uh, because I recorded it twice, of course. So, I'm going to try and do my best here. Make sure Lagatu suffers for trying to beat me in this game. Why should a lightweight be able to- What the heck? Oh my god. These freaking item spammers. Oh, this is why I don't really like online racing in Mario Kart either. I might do like one or two videos on it, but I don't know. Everyone always just spams the item so much. I wish there was a- which there actually might be that I just don't know about. A no items mode. Because I would definitely play on that, because no items actually, like, requires legit skill at this game. Not just spamming items all the time. And I know I screwed myself there with a lack of two, but I actually think I did skip pretty far ahead. Um, by using those mushrooms. So, yeah, I fell off the cliff, but I skipped so far ahead. And lack of two just pretty much brings you right up to the side of the course, so... Like, in Mario Kart Wii, it would just bring you to where you first went off the course on, but this game, he doesn't, so. And what the heck, I was, I'm drifting, and it's an inside drifting vehicle, and somehow I fell off the outside. That's really weird that this course works like that. Uh, but whatever, let's just keep going. I'm gonna have to pass Luigi, I'm gonna have to get at least, uh, two spots in front of Lagatu if I want to win this. So, let's try and do this. Alright, I got my mushrooms again, I know what to do. Right here, I'm going to go off, and I'm going to try it once more right here. Well, that didn't work, so I'm just going to spam right here, and now I'm back. I'm in second, and I'm just going to have to do really good here, and pass Luigi, take first place, and make sure Lagatu doesn't come in second. So, I don't want to hurt Luigi too bad. Alright, good. Shy Guy got hit with the red shell, not me, which means that now I have sort of a chance to catch up with Luigi somewhat. I'm gonna throw this red shell at him, and what the heck? I'm drifting. I'm freaking drifting, and now I'm in seventh place because the freaking drifting in this game sucks. Oh my god. I don't understand. It's inside drift, and I fell off the outside. If I fell off the inside with inside drift, I would understand, and if I fell off outside drift with the outside, I would understand. But falling off the outside with inside drift just makes no sense at all. How messed up is this game? But, whatever. I'm here, and it looks like I have a chance of coming in first. And possibly lack it to coming in third, which is what I really need right now. Uh, so, crap! He came in first. What the heck? Oh my god. Well, that's it. We probably came in third overall. And I don't think I'm going to re-record this. Because uh, at least we won, I guess. Alright, so we got second. Lack it ended up getting nine points ahead of me because he freaking spammed me with the red shell at the end. Oh my gosh, but whatever, it's okay. I'm not going to get too worked up over this. Having one second place isn't the worst. 
Um, it actually still counts as winning the Grand Prix. Because as long as you get a trophy, it, like, shows up as you winning it. And I'm pretty sure it contributes to unlocking characters. I don't know, because I already unlocked all the characters. Because I unlocked them all on 50cc and 100, where I got first every single time. But, um, in Mario Kart Wii, at least, I know that you can unlock most of the characters by getting even third place in Grand Prix. So this still counts as winning, although it was second. Wow, that's actually pretty crappy scores there. Especially because Bone, Bone Dry Dunes. If I didn't get fourth place on Bone Dry Dunes, I would have been fine, I think, in this Grand Prix. I would have gotten first, definitely. And also, Rainbow Road having that unlucky red shell right there from Lakitu. Why did he even get a red shell if he's in second place? I don't understand that. But whatever, this trophy actually... I kind of like this silver a little bit more than the gold one. I don't know. It's going to be a little bit weird on the thumbnail, because all the other trophies are going to be gold, and then this one's just going to be silver. But whatever, I kind of like the design of this silver one more than the gold. So, I guess I'm happy. It's all good. And, oh, we have a credits thing here? We are not supposed to have these here, because we didn't finish the game, so I'm just going to try and skip over them. Uh, that's a little bit weird. I'll leave the credits on when we actually finish the retro tracks when we'll have the whole entire game complete. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to try and get gold on all the retro cups. Uh, if I get another silver, it's not the end of the world though. If I don't get gold, silver, or bronze though, I'm definitely going to re-record. I'm not taking a fourth place in this game. But alright guys, that's about it. Uh, this is Tops, and I'm out.